Alright people, welcome back to another video. Alright guys, I'm not sure if you guys know, but AMD just released a preview version. I repeat, preview version of the fluid motion frame driver, right? So with this, this doubles your frame rate, as it says, and it should. And I'm seeing it online, so it's, it is true. For some games, you're getting double the frame rate playing at a lower resolution. Depending on what resolution you're playing, your frame rate is going to go up, right? So they'll release this as like a preview driver so that people can test it out, see what's going on, if they like it, and then they'll officially release it, I think in January, I think, but that's directly from AMD. It won't be available at day one on the Asus Rogue Ally until Asus tweaked it and put it to their liking, and then they release it for the Asus Rogue Ally. So, but there's a preview version that you can get right now, and this is from AMD, not from Asus. It, it's not really working with the Lenovo right now, because it's because of the aspect ratio of the screen. We don't recommend you putting it on your Lenovo right now because of that issue. But for the Asus Rogue Ally, it's working fine, and you're getting a good amount of frame rate when using this driver. So I'm just going to show you guys how to install it. First of all, this is the website. Um, I'll put the link down in the description down below. You just go here, and you download it, click this already downloaded already so i'm not even gonna do it again once you do that there's a couple of things you have to do you got to make sure you do some cleanup so as before you want to go in here you go to your c drive this pc and c drive and here you should see an amd folder i don't have one i think i deleted it before you just have to delete that once you delete that you have to uninstall your amd software app Search on install. So when you see the AMD software, you the three dots, then you uninstall it. Reason why you're uninstalling because it's not gonna be compatible with the new driver that you're installing, but you will be able to reinstall it once you hit the executable, and then it gives you that new AMD folder. Wherever you download the 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 driver, you gotta go there. So I think mine is in download. You go to download. And it's right here. Just gonna hit that. Yes. Yes. And this is what you want to see. You're gonna see. You're gonna see. Oops! Something went wrong. And yeah, you just close that. You go to Device Manager. When you get to device manager, you're going to see display and adapter. Click it down to open this other section. Then you go to AMD Radeon Graphics. It's going to open the screen right here. Then you go to drivers. Then you go to update driver. Then you go browse my computer. Then you go to let me pick from a list available of drivers on my computer. Then you click on have disk. Then you hit browse. Then you go to disk PC. C drive. Then you're going to see the AMD folder that you just created. Click on that. AMD software and installer. Then you go to packages. Then you go to drivers. Display. Then this WT6A INF. When you get to here, you go down, you're gonna see INF, like an INF file, which is U039217. Might be a different number for you, but it's gonna be INF at the end of it. It looks like a piece of paper. You select that. Then you hit OK. So now when you get here, you got to make sure you select the correct one because if you don't, it might mess up your system and you have to uninstall the driver and stuff like that. So you're looking for, so you're looking for a Radeon Graphics 780M. And there's a few of them in here that looks the same, right? So it's AMD Radeon TM 780M Graphics. Make sure it's all in one line in the same bracket do not select 760m graphics by accident 
780M. Then you hit next. You're gonna get this warning message right here. Don't worry about that. Let's hit yes. It's gonna do its thing for a little bit. Your screen might go black, come out, come back. When that's done, just close out everything. All right, so now we gotta install the new AMD software because the older one, it's not gonna be compatible with the new preview version that you just got. So you wanna go back into the folder that you downloaded, go to this PC, C drive, AMD folder, AMD software install, go to packages, drivers, display, INF folder. Then you're gonna go in here, which is B3999209. Then you're looking for the installation file, which is stored ICC. Scroll down. All right, here it says CC2 install. Hit that, then hit yes. Now it's installing the new software. And when you look right here, it's gonna say complete, completed. Then you close it out. Then because you just updated the driver and everything like that, just hit it with a restart real quick. All right, guys, so when you're back up and running, if you try to search for the AMD software, it's not going to come up. But only way for you to get it right now, you got to right click and you go to Adrenaline Software. If it's not showing up right here for you, you go to Show More Option and then you will see it in here. Once you press that, it's going to give you like a new setup thing. You could skip that for now. Or if you want to do it, you could do it. Once you go to gaming, then you go to graphics. You come down, you'll see AMD fluid motion frames. And this is where you can turn it on and off from. So once you turn it on, it's recommending you to turn on anti-log and radiant boost. All right, so one thing I want to explain to you guys, because this is the preview version, and it's not really tweaked for the Asus ROG Ally as of now. There's going to be a lot of, there's a good amount of lag in it, right? For some games, not for all games. And if you go on the website and read the the description of it, it will tell you it's a preview version. So there's a little bit of some issues, not a lot, but. All right, if you go to performance. And you come over here on the right side. This way you can turn on the overlay. So the Asus overlay for the fps tracker it won't work because it's a preview version and i said it's not tweaked by asus as yet so you have to use amd overlay and then in here you could enable it and then you can enable it only only to detect when in game and you could turn it on for only when you're in game and you could tweak all the all the settings right here to your liking so now if you want to remove the drivers and uninstall the new amd software that you just have remove like the driver start from scratch to reinstall the official drive from asus so now you just go gotta go back to the amd folder go to the c drive you go to amd then you go to amd software install you go to the bin 64 then you will look for amd cleanup utility you would run this as an administrator and they recommend you doing it in safe mode as well. And when you're doing it, it might take a little bit to uninstall everything, but make sure you put it in the safe mode and run it as admin. Once you do that and you got the software off the new and you got the drive the preview drivers out your system, you could reinstall it by going to my Asus. Go back to my Asus. And then here you could reinstall back the latest driver from asus all right so once you revert back to the official asus drivers you won't have the general software installed so you have to install it from the windows store so just go to internet browser and then you could type amd radian software microsoft store and it should pop up if not i'll put this link in the description down below and they could install it right here and then that would be compatible with the previous asus drivers that they released because once you hit that uninstall button for the preview version of the driver it will uninstall the driver 
and the, a the AMD Radeon software that you that came with that driver. So you have to reinstall back the Radeon software for the previous Asus Rogue Ally drivers. So once you do that, everything should be up and running. The next thing you gotta do now, there's one thing you gotta turn on that they recommend you turn on before you start gaming because it helps out with the with the preview version of the driver. So you would go go to search, you type display settings. When you get here, scroll down to graphics. Then you'll see change default graphics settings. You will turn on optimization for Windows game. This reduce latency as you see right here. So you will turn it on and that helps you with your latency, your lag and everything. And that makes it more fluent when you're playing your games. Now that's done. Let me just give you a little bit of a gameplay showing it on and off and what's going on. Guys, if you have any question, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Hit that like button if you like what I'm posting guys. Sub the channel for more awesome content guys. All right, so let's see if I get you guys some, some gameplay. But for some reason, my FPS, it doesn't work sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does. I see online when you try to restart it, that kind of fixes the issue, but I think it's bugged a little bit. If I'm not doing something right, let me know in the comment section down below so I can get it working. But as you can see, I got everything on. Got fluid motion, anti-lag, even got radium boost. You could also run it with radiant image sharpening as well, but just for this test, I'm just gonna do all the fluent motion stuff, right? That you need. I'm gonna launch the game. So the FPS might not work, it might work, but trust me, you see the difference, guys. See, it's not coming up. Oh, you know, we got everything enabled. It shows right here on the screen. So it says AMD fluid motion on. If it's got a green tick, that means it's up and running, guys. So I'm playing, this is Tomb Raider. Just a little bit of gameplay. I'm gonna do one with it on and with it off. You might not be able to see the difference because I'm running this video at 30 frames per second. But trust me, it do work. If you go online, you'll see all over the internet that it's working. But see, my FPS count is not showing. I think it's a bug or something. Or maybe I don't got something on, I guess. But let me know. So with Tomb Raider. With my graphics settings. I got most everything on medium, just to show you. Most everything on medium, just so you could have an idea. Let's go back. So I, I already, I feel the difference already, guys so smooth and everything if you turn on radiant image sharpening that might give you a lot more stress on your processor but you could do that as well and i'm running at 30 watts 900p 900p 25 watts i mean because i don't got the the asus charger plugged in directly this adapter that i have is not compatible to give me 30 watts so i'm at 25 so yeah, I could, I'll feel the difference and you could try it out if you want. If you don't, then you see that lag just now. So as I said before, it's a preview version. So there's lag and stuff. So let me just, um, I f you could definitely feel it guys. Like so smooth right now. Let me just run it without frame generation. And then you guys can see all the settings will be the same. I'm just turning off frame generation. Right, let me turn off frame generation. Boost. I'm not even turn on radiant image sharper than just running like this. You launch game. As you can see on the screen, see everything is disabled. All right, go back in the game. See FPS counter is still still not working. This one guy said he just restarted the system and then it started working for him. But it's not working for me. Yeah, definitely see a difference, guys. Definitely. 
I wish you guys could see the numbers so I could see you can see what I'm talking about. But numbers are not working. All the graphics is the same 900p at 25 watts. 900p 25 watts, right? In game is the same settings, medium settings. Yeah, but if I see anything online that shows me how to fix the FPS counter, let you guys know. As I said before, this is a preview version, so there is going to be some issues, I guess. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below, guys. If you're running it, if you're not, you can also revert back to your older driver from Asus if you don't like it. And yeah, I showed you that in the video as well, so you can do that. Yeah, guys, so that's basically it. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what I'm posting, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Let me know in the description down below how's it going for you if you're using this pre version driver and subscribe channel for more awesome content guys remember what i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out